In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We gather, we gather to celebrate these sacred mysteries. To celebrate them worthily, we firstly call to mind that we are in need, in need of the Lord's pardon and forgiveness for the wrong we've done and for the good that we fail to do. You are sent to heal the contrite, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. God, you show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path. Grant all who, for the faith they profess, are accounted Christians, the grace to reject what is contrary to the name of Christ, and strive after all that does it honour. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Fifteenth Sunday in Ordinary Time A reading from the prophet Amos. Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, said to Amos, Go away, seer. Get back to the land of Judah. Earn your bread there. Do your prophesying there. We want no more prophesying in Bethel. This is the royal sanctuary, the national temple. I was no prophet, neither did I belong to any of the brotherhoods of prophets. Amos replied to Amaziah, I was a shepherd and looked after sycamores, but it was the Lord who took me from herding the flock and the Lord who said, Go, prophesy to my people Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy and give us your saving help. Let, Let us see, O Lord, Lord, your, your mercy, mercy, and give us your saving help. I will hear what the Lord God has to say, a voice that speaks of peace. Peace for his people. His help is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. 
Let us see, O Lord, your mercy and give us your saving help. Mercy and faithfulness have met. Justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth and justice look down from heaven. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. The Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all the spiritual blessings of heaven in Christ. Before the world was made, he chose us, chose us in Christ, to be holy and spotless, and to live through love in his presence, determining that we should become his adopted sons through Jesus Christ for his own kind purposes, to make us praise the glory of his grace, his free gift to us in the beloved, in whom, through his blood, we gain our freedom, the forgiveness of our sins. Such is the richness of the grace which he has showered on us in all wisdom and insight. He has let us know the mystery of his purpose, the hidden plan he so kindly made in Christ from the beginning to act upon when the times had run their course to the end, that he would bring everything under Christ as head, everything in the heavens and everything on earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel acclamation. Your words are spirit, Lord, and they are life. You have the message of eternal life. Be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out in pairs, giving them authority over the unclean spirits. And he instructed them to take nothing for the journey except the staff, no bread, no haversack, no coppers for their purses. They were to wear sandals, but he added, do not take a spare tunic. And he said to them, if you enter a house anywhere, Stay there until you leave the district. And if any place does not welcome you, and people refuse to listen to you, as you walk away, shake off the dust from under your feet as a sign to them. So they set off to preach repentance, and they cast out many devils and anointed many sick people with oil. 
and cure them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It has been claimed, and rightly, that there will be no peace or unity in the human family unless there is understanding and tolerance between the religions of the world. Religious extremism and bad use of religion continue to cause division and death in many countries today. Nonetheless, the Word of God, especially our second reading today from Ephesians, highlights the special blessings of the Christian faith, of those who believe in the Lord Jesus. Through our faith, we are the ones chosen by God our Father in Christ to be holy and spotless, to live through love in his presence, to be free from the burden of guilt, and to live our lives in praise of God. This reading from the letter to the Ephesians brings to mind the blessings that we have in Christ Jesus. It is for us to savour and to claim these blessings for ourselves. Saint Francis in the 13th century said to his followers, preach the gospel, but only use words when you have to. Today we heard about Jesus sending out the disciples. It was a kind of a practice for them, an internship. But in that sending out, he said little about preaching the gospel. Rather, the focus was on their simple lifestyle and their lives as witnesses to the gospel. People we know prefer to see a sermon rather than listen to one. So our lives then should show our faith, should show the privilege that we are given to be children of God in Christ Jesus, our Saviour. Let us claim those blessings this day and every day. Amen. 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 We now stand and we profess our faith. It's the faith we have received. It's the faith we are proud to profess. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We gather now as the children of God to pray for the needs of our world, the needs of our church, and the needs of people everywhere. We pray for the leadership of our church, Pope Francis, the bishops, that the Spirit will guide them and help them to bear witness to the gospel they profess. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all those who are infected with the COVID at this time, 
We pray that the Lord would touch them with his healing power and that they will have the assistance and the support of which they're in need. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for peace in our world. We pray for greater understanding and tolerance of those who profess the different faiths of believers. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray that we in our own lives would show forth in our actions the faith we profess. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We remember and pray for those who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith. May the Lord grant them eternal rest and peace. May the Lord comfort those who mourn the loss of their loved ones. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For a moment or two in silence, we bring our own particular intentions before God and Father. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God our Father, look down upon us this day with eyes of love. Grant us, we pray, the things we have asked of you in faith, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. God of all creation, for your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have this wine to offer fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual truth. Sisters and brothers, we pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. O Lord, look upon the offerings of your people as we make our prayers to you. Grant that when consumed by those who believe, we may bring, they may bring us ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, 
He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we proclaim your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of fate. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us, worthy be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Benjamin, our bishop, all the clergy, the religious, and with all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we pray the prayer, the prayer the Lord gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord, grant that, having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down upon you this day and remain with you always. Thanks be to God. Thank you.